Hi, today I want to do a quick review on the Suncor 737G spot welder for lithium batteries. Now I bought this with my own money, so I can tell you right now, I really enjoy this device, it's solidly built. And the reason why I bought it in the first place is that I want to be able to weld together these lithium battery quickly and firmly. So it'll last for a long time. I tried to solve it together, but it didn't work well for me. Uh, it took me like five, six minutes and it doesn't work at all. I bought a more expensive soldering uh, machine and still it doesn't do a good job. And it actually may uh, cause a problem with the battery, especially when there's too much heat. So that's why this is recommended. And I'm gonna go over the device quickly with you. And if you work with these type of lithium batteries, I think you're gonna enjoy uh, this spot welding and something similar to that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's quickly review this machine here, the Senko 737G spot welder for lithium batteries. Like I said, the reason I bought it is because I want to um, weld together my lithium batteries. When you buy this machine, it's pretty much complete. The only thing that you need to do is install the two uh, copper pin here, foot welding pin, right? Well, basically, they give you an Allen wrench, okay? So there it is. And you unscrew these, and then you put your uh, pin in there, and that's it, it's done. And then just plug it in. Let me turn it on for you. As you can see, you can have one pulse or two pulse, and the control uh, buttons here, you can have a 60 amp current all the way to, I think, 99 amp. So I always set it to, I think the lowest is 40. I set somewhere in between, so 60 is pretty much uh, good for this uh, application. There's also light beneath here, so it's great because you can see what you're doing. So I like that. Um, it's all metal with the plastic handle here. And there's also a knob you can control the pressure here. I normally don't use that pressure to, uh, to control the welding. I use uh, their pedal that which comes with it. This is a foot pedal for controlling the uh, spot welding. So I usually plug that in. Let me show you quickly. So what I'll do is um, I'll plug it in like that. Okay. And then I'll just press this button and I should be able to weld the machine. So I always use the uh, pedal foot pedal. It also comes, other than the Allen wrench, it comes with extra uh, copper pin, two extra one. There's two here and there's another two here. There's also the lithium battery container. So when you're trying to weld up to four right here, okay, four lithium battery, the 18650, uh, you put in there and you're able to weld it. They also give you nickel plate. Okay, I have a long strip here. The wider width uh, nickel plate and then the narrow width nickel plate. I think this is more enough to do, you know, I think at least uh, 30, 40 lithium battery. So enough for me for now. And then of course it also comes with this stickers to cover the positive negative terminal here. So that's great. And it comes with the manual as well. Uh, the manual is all right. You know, uh, I think I would recommend you watch some of the YouTubers uh, how they do together. Also watching this video may help. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty clear. The only thing is controlling these um, button here. So if you want to control the current, you just press the button. And here I can control uh, the current by dialing down the button. So you can see, actually I can even go lower. Okay, I didn't know that. I can go down to 20. The default setting is 40 amps. So uh, I didn't know that. Okay, so I just learned now that you can actually go down to 20. But I wouldn't recommend it because when you turn on at, uh, at the beginning, it's start at 40 amp. Okay, I set it to 60. And that's what I want, okay? And then you can also change the, uh, the number here as well, but usually I go from 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on, okay? So, and then you can have one pulse or two pulse. I usually set it to two pulse, and that's it, and you're done. That's pretty straightforward, right? Let me show you let's, uh, an example here. Let's say I wanna weld this uh, two battery here, the two lithium battery. Let me grab my copper plate, okay? now. I would recommend you wear safety glasses because sometimes it is so powerful that you can see the uh, nickel start to just like melt it instantly. Okay, so make sure you wear your safety glasses. Okay, so what you want to do is take this lithium 
battery container, the holder, and just place it into this plastic container here. Okay, just align it. It's for lining like that, right? And then, now there's still some of these nickel plate from the previous solder or felt welder, okay? So remember, this is an old battery from the laptop. I'm just too lazy to peel it off. Let's see if it can still handle welding it together with the old plate in there. I think it should be able to. So what I'm gonna do first, is gonna try to weld this together. Okay, just make sure I got a nice flat plate. Okay, so there, just place it like that. Okay, like that. And then put the leg pedal on the bottom so you can control with the other foot. Okay, let me just show you if I press the button. Okay, you see that? All right, but now I need to put a pressure on this and then press. See that? Woo, this is why you need to wear your safety glasses. Okay, press. There we go. And it's, wow, pretty tight. Let me just, I usually do about three or four times. Okay, there we go. So I do three times, there. And that's pretty tight. And then I do it on the other side. Okay, just press it hard like that and then press the pedal. Okay, do again. Okay, and do one more time. And there we go, it's pretty tight. Let me just, just in case here, let me do one more. There, okay, it's tight. And then get a plier or scissor to cut that strip out. Okay, so I need to cut this end here. There we go, it's done, there, okay. That's, that's pretty cool. See how fast it is? If I was to <laughs> solder it, it would take me minutes if, and it doesn't work properly. Where this one is just instantly, it's pretty amazing, okay? And then, then I, what I'll do is, I'm gonna pull it out. And I'm gonna try to do it on the other side, okay? So, there we go. All right, so let's turn to the other side. Now I uh, switched the current a little bit higher to 60 because the 50 wasn't doing a good job. It was welding, but it wasn't, you know, you have to give it a couple of tries, so I'm gonna bring it up to give it higher current. So that, now I'll flip over to the other side, okay, the bottom, the negative terminal, and I will then weld this one. Okay. Just push the lot, put it up, put, give it a little pressure, then press the pedal. Okay, there we go. Again. One more. Okay. That's three times. Let me do one more. Pretty tight. Whoa, yeah, cool. There we go. Yep, let's cut it off. Mm -hmm. There you have it. It's hard to pull it off from this plastic. Okay, there we go. Now I have a battery that is well together. I think it's pretty tight. Good enough for powering my, I guess, smartphone. You can use it for smartphone. So this is a 3.7 volt, uh, 2,000 milliamp hour each. So that's 4,000 now. Then I connect the positive terminal and hook up to one of my uh, battery charger. Like this would be the battery to power the battery charger to power my smart devices like smartphone and all that. This is actually from the battery from the laptop. So now it can be used to power my smartphone, anything, anything that's five volt system. As long as you have the voltage regulator, you connect this battery to that and you're ready to go. So yeah, highly recommended this device. Now, it's pretty expensive. It's like uh, in, in Canadian dollars, around $150. But you know, it's worth it because when I was trying to solder my uh, batteries, it was, just tedious it wasn't working properly not very effective where this one I just press the button and boom you get the result right away and you know since I love uh, working with lithium batteries this is the, uh, one of the device I highly recommend great hobby device and uh, you know a lot of experimentation can be done 
uh, connecting lithium battery like this one, the 18650. And you can use it for many, many projects. You know, save you a lot of time for sure. Over, I think overall, long term wise, this is probably a good investment. Uh, I know uh, it's expensive, uh, $150, uh, but the, the, the quality, the way it's built, everything, I like it. It's quite safe. I don't, you know, I've seen one that's like $30, like this one of these open um, circuit one. I don't like that. It looks really dangerous. Uh, where this one is protected, you can see it's all around, and uh, there's a foot pedal with the pressure a lever here to control it. So it's very, um, I mean, in terms of safety, you know, you should you should know what you're doing anyway with these type of spot welder. But once you know what you're doing, uh, this is a well built, quite safe device, and I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching educatetube.com.